Hey guys, so I haven't updated my endometriosis um, story in a while. I did the Lupron from January through the end of March and uh, my husband and I found out the, was it July? Um, I think it was the week of the 4th of July, yeah I'm pretty sure that we were expecting so it's a huge deal I've been really nervous getting through this first trimester I mean I've had two endometriosis laparoscopies I had the HSG test done to clean out the scar tissue in my fallopian tubes and my surgeon up here in Ohio Dr. Stuart Jones he was able to save my left ovary which was being consumed by an eight and a half centimeter endometrioma and basically as soon as I was out of the surgery and healed he started me on the Lupron which is a very high controversial um, drug therapy for people with endometriosis I was very much actually against it myself for a very long time but I had grown some trust in my doctor and even though I heard good things and lots of bad things about the Lupron, I went ahead with it. Most of my side effects were mediocre in the beginning, but I did get some heart issues from the Lupron. It basically caused pericarditis, which is, this is my cat Hercules. Pericarditis is um, inflammation of the lining of the heart. I had that for a couple months. The last couple months, I was on the Lupron, and I was on medications for it. It was pretty painful and scary, feeling that your heart in your chest. But I have to say, um, we got off a of Lupron, waited for it to get out of my system, and then we were going to discuss fertility treatments which ended up not being needed. Uh, apparently, I ovulated. Um, and my husband and I conceived the weekend of June 9th. And we're about 10 weeks and four days along. I have my second ultrasound tomorrow. I did get to see my little nugget um, heartbeat and my first appointment, which we were seven and a half weeks along. And... After trying to conceive for four years, I words cannot even express the feelings that I'm having right now. Here is my little nugget at seven and a half weeks. Never give up hope. I'm making this video to remind you that no matter what obstacle you face with this disease, no matter what doctors have told you about your chances of conceiving, no matter what the universe tries to tell you, um, keep your faith in God, pray, never give up, and don't stop trying. I will update you about our little nugget throughout my pregnancy, and I have pictures that I share on my Instagram if you want to follow me. It is Kirsten Barnett Fitness. K E R S T I N B A R N E T T E F I T N E S S. And um, basically, you can just continue watching my journey with endometriosis and our first pregnancy. I say first because I'm hopeful we'll have another. So, and I'm keeping hope in my heart that this pregnancy will be good. I pray for a healthy baby, healthy pregnancy, and I just want to give as much hope out there to as many women and young girls who suffer with this disease that children are possible. 